this week is a struggle. My problem right now is simply the order. I'm not sure what should be done after what thing. And when I uh, have a list uh, that I prepared what I need to do, that still needs to be implemented. Um, still I'm not sure uh, what should be done after which thing. And this makes things problematic because sometimes I start implementing a thing that without other thing wouldn't work. Um, so that's why I get stuck um, and even if I find the solution or if I know from React documentation how to implement a given thing, how to connect the components, how to make it uh, display, despite all these things, I find the moments when I get stuck because the order was wrong, just because something else should have been implemented first. Uh, in order to make this new thing that I'm implementing working. So this top level logic on the level of pages and connecting everything with storage turns out to be the hardest point in this project. It is a process and you know the, the more you code the better you will be at it I hope when I get stuck and I don't know what to do next uh, with the code which option to implement what to do and why I get a bug like that um, I reach to these steps I write down the plan on paper and I try to write it down with the smallest steps. Uh, so what I should do next, uh, what generally should be done, what's the order of these things, at least what I think that the order should be. I talk with other programmers, I consult the things on various forums, I look for tutorials that had similar projects, I look for tutorials that solve similar problems, I search on Stack Overflow or I post on Gitter, or try to look for the solution on forums. And sometimes I simply take a break from a given project, from a given problem, I try to go to the next uh, issue that can be dealt with, or I go for a walk. And you, what do you do when you have the problems with focus and what to do next in your project? Please share your solutions in the comments below. make each image uh, that is um, loaded to the recipe the same size and to be displayed as cover. So this is another step that I have to take right now. Velocity is not a function. What? What does it even mean and how to solve it?
go for a walk or to continue coding? That is a question. Especially if you are struggling with some problem for the last few hours. This is my answer. This project is the example how the decisions previously made influence the time needed for the final implementation. Why? To give you some examples, if I hadn't decided to implement images, I would save tons of time. You have to resize and crop the images in order to allow the users to um, add more recipes because local storage has the limits. If not, uh, a user will be able to upload just only a few uh, recipes because of the huge photo. But because I believe that images are crucial when it comes to recipes and you eat it with your eyes, I think that this is not a thing that I will resign from. Another example of how previous decisions influence the way, influence the time you have to devote to uh, implement a project is using Materialize in this project. I used Materialize in order to save time, but right now I'm not sure if I wouldn't have to deal with uh, velocity is not a function error uh, that's hard to debug because it is connected with Materialize and with the UI components that I use from there. I want to finish this project as soon as possible and make it decent um, that's why i want to resign from those things that i decided that at this stage they are too overwhelming for me uh, because they add up to the overall um, complexity of the project and they are not in the project's requirements this way i'm resigning from search why for example from search well i wrote down the plan how to implement it what would be needed in order to do it and there are many steps that will take a lot of time right now to finish that's extra functionality that can be added later and some iterations each step from clicking the search icon to displaying the result and going to a given result and later coming back to home page or to the result list Everything that should be read thought and designed and implemented not just only in logic but also in the UI that would be user friendly. It's possible but it takes time that I don't want to devote right now. Maybe it's because I'm a bit fed up with this project and I want to really finish it because it was quite hard 
but for the time being such is not needed. Sometimes you have to give up in order to have the power to come back to the project, especially if it's not for the client, because if you decided that it should be designed this way, you can also resign from a given point and a given iteration. It's Sunday in the evening, this is how it looks now. I can add a recipe, add a photo, Add the ingredients. Some instructions. And save the recipe. Automatically it is added to the list. Uh, and the list is created alphabetically, so if it was fries, it's after B and before H. And when I come into this recipe, I can edit it or delete it. If I edit it, I can resign from tags, add some tags, Still I need to fight with this overlap, this will be the next step. I can change the photo and save the recipe. If a user wants to delete a recipe, they click delete and when they reassure, this recipe is no longer in the storage. In the local storage, uh, this fries recipe is no longer here. So looking at the user stories um, from number one, um, I can create recipes that have the names and ingredients. Yes, I can. I can see the index view where the names of all recipes are visible. Yes, I can. It's the homepage. I can click into any of those recipes to view it. Yes, I can. And then I go to the detailed view. I can edit the recipes. Yes, I can. This is what we did. Uh, and I can delete the recipes. Uh, yes, we could delete the recipes. All the recipes I add are saved in my browser's local storage. If I refresh the page, these recipes will still be there. Yes, it's done. If I refresh, the recipes are still here. So looking at these user stories, well, they are implemented, but still the app uh, needs a lot of work. I mean, um, it could be better. It shows that Fulfilling user stories doesn't mean that the project is done. Next week, I'm going to test this project once again and to go to smaller JS apps and re-establishing my JS, vanilla JS knowledge. Learning to code has to do a lot with self-awareness. I think that is also a courage to experiment and to choose, to try, to um, take the knowledge from different sources, having a major plan of course in it, like having the main path that you wanna follow. So I won't go straight away to the next React uh, Free Code Camp project because I want to work more with JS and step for a moment on some smaller project uh, or some smaller project uh, with JavaScript to make me stronger in JavaScript and to make me think clearer in JavaScript. This is what I feel that I need right now. Let's check that. We will see if it was the right move. Keep on doing. Remember that learning to code is not a race. You get your own path, your own journey, and take the decisions that you feel that are good for you at this moment. See you next week.